All right. All right. Cool. Made it. We What's made up, it. Nick? What's going on, Bjorn? Oh, you know, dude, just just the usual. Just the usual? Yeah. What yep. are you drinking over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to switch it up today, and um, this is a Doctor's Angel right here. <laughs> so it's Dr. Pepper and Angel's Envy? On the rock. On, on a rock. <laughs> on a rock. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> so we have two bottles of whiskey here. We have Jameson, which is a reasonably priced alcohol that's excellent to mix. Mm-hmm. And then we have Angel's Envy, which is a high-end bourbon that's to meant be to be, be sipped, uh, you know, neat or with a uh, with a big ice cube. Mm-hmm. And you chose the the expensive fines. It, yeah. Does it complement the Dr Pepper? Yeah, it really does. does. It does it bring out a twenty fourth flavor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there's, that what it does? Yeah, there's a twenty fourth smoky. It, it's like mm. a smokiness. Well, this isn't really that smoky. I've been whiskey, I've been drinking but... I've been drinking Bullet. And, um, Bullet's a good bullet, and bullet Dr. bourbon Pepper. or bullet rye. The the orange one. <laughs> I think that's the bourbon. The rye I, would be bad with I think. Anything. Okay, rye's are like kind of spicier. Oh, okay. I well, was always and, just and like bourbon, I don't know the difference. Well, and rye is made out of rye, and bourbon's uh, made out of corn. I'll be totally honest. Yeah. Um, I like orange better than green, so I <laughs> get the orange one. <laughs> That's the only reason, but I know that I like. It's that also whiskey. cheaper, I think, right? The rye no, is the same. More they're expensive. exact same price. Oh, I've, I've, because I, I did that. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that much about whiskeys, but I know that I like Bullet. Yeah. So that's yeah, my Bullet's favorite. Not a bad bourbon. But it, it, I like Bullet. Um, it's pretty good with Dr would, Pepper. Yeah, it would. It'd be decent. It's a, it's a drink you can't really order at a lot of. <laughs> places because it's like do you have pepsi products or whatever well they might have what like mr. mr pib i'm not gonna do it a mr pib and bullet that's gross doesn't it taste the same <laughs> yeah it does i haven't it had does. mr pib or dr pepper in quite a while but as far as i remember they taste pretty much you're exactly vaccinated same. do you want to try it sure i i think it's i don't know you can barely taste it honestly Oh well, yeah, that's a that's a fine cocktail there. <laughs> yeah, it's like mostly Dr Pepper. You are, a, I think, at this point, a gourmet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just. You're I think very this classy drink, man. This describes me, you know, pretty well. Or fancy, like, fancy liquor, but ruined with soda. Mm-hmm. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> like in a nutshell. <laughs> so like like just approaching fancy, but you're. Every time you get a l- little too close, you're like, ah, no, no you got to back, back it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. exactly. I am like that completely. Like, if I had like a nice car, I'd put like a dumb bumper sticker on it to just ruin it. I mean, you kind of have a very plain looking car, but then you get in and it's like the fancy model with all the mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's I guess me. that's, yeah, it's like a Mitsubishi, but you get in and it's like got leather and all that. Mm-hmm. It's like a pretty nice car. <laughs> yeah, like a, it's actually pretty nice. But it's a Mitsubishi, nice. so people overlook it maybe. I yeah. suppose that's a good analogy. Yeah, that's like mm-hmm. that's actually like my favorite. I like to set expectations really low, and then so I can just wildly exceed them with yeah. minimal effort. Oh, it's definitely better than the other option of like setting, setting them the way too high and then just failing <laughs> and then coming up short. <laughs> yeah, I like to not try super hard, but still blow minds. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I kind of agree. That's been my approach to a lot of things. So. I'm just going to get right into the sneaker. Okay, let's talk about these sneakers. This cord is just bucking. Actually, hang on. Yeah, what? I was listening to the episode that just released. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. And I want to hear all your thoughts on my hair. On your hair? I think you should do I think you should do those like braids with beads like uh like Travis Scott. That's what I want to see. You you want to see me do cultural appropriation? Is it though? Uh, it's all black rappers to do it so yes 100 percent, yes <laughs> definitely oh i want you to do it so bad and just so you can like shake them when you well to actually music. i guess i guess riff raff maybe got away with it i mean i don't think i'm as cool as riff raff or like go you just go down to mexico and get your and get your ship rated hmm. with like the little beads on the end Okay. I or, I mean, I'm sure you could go to a barber shop or somewhere around here. Or, or I, no, I mean, like a, of all the a towns, beauty shop. Portland will have a place that'll hook me up with some hair beads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you could do that. That's what I want to see, uh, as opposed to this Michael Jackson thing you've got going on. Is that that's I what feel it looks like, like it is. to you is yeah, a yeah. Michael Jackson yep, thing? Yep. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All I know is at this point I've been growing it for like over a year. Mm-hmm. And I kind of feel like I want to continue just because of like the sunk cost fallacy. Okay. If nothing else. <laughs> the sunk cost fallacy. Explain yeah. that what that is to me again. That's where it's it's like where once you've invested the money in something mm. or the time, you now feel obligated to use it or can like like say you Okay. I like know, I here's here's is, like yeah. a like if a business rented office space in two thousand nineteen for okay. five years and they put all that money down, and now they realize that all their employees can be just as effective at home, they're still maybe going to bring people back because they spent all this money on an office, and yeah. wouldn't that be a waste of money? Oh, uh, okay. That's so, the kind of, okay. yeah. So I've put all this time into the hair. Uh, do, Dude, it'll grow again, whatever. I know, but like it's never been this long, and I just want to know what happens when it gets another <laughs> four to six inches longer. So when you were growing up, did you not grow it out very often i grew it out to about this long but not quite okay and that's as far as i ever got so we're kind of in uncharted territory okay and i'm curious because i do i i don't really like doing long on the on the head but i've uh -huh. done um the beard mm -hmm. i've tr i've never done it i've come very close to the year oh just to kind of see what it does grow with it one for a year, year. And um, do you still trim like on the sides, or do you fully just you just grow it's it just out? Bushy as hell. Yeah, the thing that's interesting about it for me is like down here grows kind of like out, mm. not down. Yeah, but then as it gets longer, it starts to like fall down, or like it bushes down, or I brush it. Yeah, and it like it it hurts so much. I don't like it. Oh really? And so once it starts to hurt, I usually just. I'm just over it, and it just is. It's just so warm, <laughs> and like I, I, I like it about this length. Going into the summer here, I I do feel like I'm going yeah. to occasionally regret this hair. Uh, yeah, it 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 does have pretty, some insulating properties. Yeah, because it's it's man, Portland has held out on the on the heat. Like we had like one hot day. Yeah, and then it's been damn I rainy fired for up, five days. I fired up the. Set it up, fired it up, the AC, and then it seems like two weeks it's been just like 60 and rainy. Yeah. It's supposed to be like 80 tomorrow. It was 70-something and 70 kind today. of sunny today. But 80 yeah, tomorrow. We got just in time for last weekend. It just poured rain on us <laughs> the whole freaking weekend. And it was muggy. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. I did not Saturday, live here for we that. went to the golf, the, the yep. driving range, Mike, that you helped host. Mm -hmm. I was a humid son of a bitch. It was very humid. I was wildly overdressed because I was wearing any clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I had on a white tee. Yeah. And I kept it clean the whole time. I even ate a hot dog. You I ate was... a hot dog. You had a variety of beverages. Mm -hmm. Beers. Beers. Oh, and then that. And like, that, uh, that, the that... Glenn Livet. I didn't the like scotch, that. you weren't a fan I, of the scotch. I wanted it. I wanted it on the rocks, and it was like hot. It was, it was like yeah. Hot it was in a little. It, it was in a little like, thing, <laughs> and people had continued to be holding the little bottle that it was in. Yeah, like I held it for a while, and then I gave it to you, and you held it. Body and... temperature. Mm. Yeah, that that what ninety six point eight degrees. Yeah, ninety six point eight. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Scotch whiskey. Oh, that, that's gross. It wasn't. It wasn't ideal. That's like going to the I bar still like and, it, but and I don't ordering it. like a scotch and being like, "Hey, can you just can you toss just... it in the microwave yeah. <laughs> for a couple of seconds? Like thirty seconds? Like, we, like yeah, just it. go set it next to the grill in the back for a while. <laughs> yeah, Let's get some like... residual heat going. I just want like a nice. Yeah. I don't want it hot. Just I like the next like... time that you go to make a cheeseburger and you like spray a little mm -hmm. water on the grill and put a lid, yeah, yeah, just yeah. sneak this shot under there too <laughs> while you're shot. at it. <laughs> Hot shots, Let's baby. Let's steam it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's steam it. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. I've been, I don't know why I've been drinking whiskey again. Because it's delicious. It is. It's a, it's a lovely beverage. It is. It is. I just really wanted, I was like, I've been drinking Dr. Pepper and, mm. and Bullet. So I was like, I really want to try Dr. Pepper and um, so does Angel's the Envy. The Angel's Envy, does it, does it, it, I like the bullet better it's a little it, it like brings out a, a different flavor from the doctor yeah Pepper. you know what i think angel's envy is very smooth it's i don't smoother. think it's gonna be a good mixer mm -mm. i think jameson would have been a better choice i was dr pepper i definitely was like because mm, the jameson's gonna give it a little more bite 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, but... with the Angel's Envy, you're still getting hammered, but it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's just smoother. Yeah. Yeah, it is better just on the... I, I just find it interesting. I can drink that straight, but I can't drink this straight without feeling gross mm, mm-hmm. immediately. Um, all right. Let's all right, talk about let's these Let's talk shoes. about these. These are... Um, I would say these would be my first soiree is that the word foray foray, foray. I think maybe foray. soiree what's a soiree uh i don't know i don't think it's dirty or anything my it's first just like an activity or something a first soir- is it a party like a dance a yeah. dance party is that a soiree well yeah this is a party w- for my feet right? ah yeah, yeah. Your, your feet my first feet party you can have a party <laughs> that sounded <laughs> feet <laughs> party <laughs> you want to come to this foot party yeah onlyfans.com <laughs> slash foot party foot party <laughs> That sounds like a viral video name where that people are like, is. oh, no, not foot party. <laughs> that video is disgusting. That's, it, yeah, it's, it's like a like a two girls, one cup type of yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, one of that, those. That like your friends call it like something, foot party. El- something else and it's a link to that. And then they're like, oh, Jesus fucking like, oh, Christ. Again. I hate how I hate how anytime someone. Well, not any. It, it's become such a punchline, but for a while, mm-hmm. whenever anyone said "tub girl" or two girls, one cup," mm-hmm. I just immediately get like that, like you know, in movies where they have like a flashback. And oh you're just yeah! Like, oh God, get it out of here! <laughs> Stop! What year delete, did that happen? Delete. Because I don't know. that was before. I saw it kind of late. I, I was like, I avoided. I was it. like enough of a kid when that came oh. out that like no one in my circle was involved. Mm-hmm. In in the distribution of two girls one cup videos, <laughs> or at least they didn't distribute them to me. So I don't. I've honestly actually never seen two girls one cup. And now that I say that, I'm definitely inviting someone at some point to listen to this <laughs> and, send and send. That actually would make me happy because I'll like I'll on be Instagram like, slide into your DMs. Yeah, I'll know that, Nick's that girls one of our comedy. <laughs> many fans was paying attention, and they're like, ah, ha ha, I'm yeah. gonna get this son of a bitch. Be like, so, check out this this cheap sneakers.com <laughs> yeah it's like it's you like, like uh, i know and i am because I'm, I'm a dummy like that I'm, easy force <laughs> I'm, I'm the person that fucking phishing emails works on yeah right a little bit I, i'm the one who will sometimes i will click like the link and then i'll be like oh this is fucking stupid but like i keep getting a lot of those like those things that are like these these reps are un whatever i've, I've gotten a bunch like, of those in a lot my of those. instagram dms yeah 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 because I post a like, lot of of uh, sneaker pics, I think. Yeah. And and I and I interact with lots of sneaker images. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like a bunch of sneaker pictures on on Instagram, and so I end up getting. Yeah. My yeah. algorithm has a lot so of sneakers like, in it, and so those people they're like hitting you up. Yeah. All right. So this was my first soiree into um yeah. into, and I wanted to try an ultra boost because mm-hmm. we we went to the employee store. Yeah. And. I was like, I'm just going to go for funsies. And then I walked out with like two pairs of sneakers. Yeah. I think I just got two pair. Um, I got these and one other. Mm-hmm. Um, but you made me try these ones on. You found these because I wanted to try on. I wanted the NMDs. That's what my plan was going. Mm-hmm. But I tried them on and they hurt my foot. So yeah. I was like, well, that's not going to work. So glad I tried these on. Um, and then I tried the Ultra Boost. And those also didn't fit. Those the were the Ultra Boost caged. 21, I think. The cage Two. ones. Mm-hmm. I think they're cool. I like that cage. And I like I wanted to do a fly knit. I really wanted mm-hmm. a fly knit when I and I had told you that. Um and I wanted prime to prime knit on those, I think. Prime knit, you're right. Fly knit <laughs> is Nike. Nike. My bad. Somebody <laughs> not me, but somebody is gonna be mad. They'll be like, How dare I you? wanted the woven sneaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a woven Yeah, a knit. I wanted a sweater sneaker. <laughs> You know, like mm-hmm. a sweater running shoe. Uh, I just really wanted to try it because I'd heard because I have a weird shaped foot that this would be good. I was like, oh, it's like nice and stretchy. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it had been recommended to me so mm-hmm. many times, but I was nervous about this. I didn't like this part on the NMDs. Mm-hmm. I think it was and the caged was a little too tight on my foot. I didn't like it mm-hmm. on the initial. And then you found these ones. Yeah, they were just in the next aisle over or whatever. Yeah, so this is the Ultra Boost uh, 5.0 uncaged DNA, and then the nickname is the Oreo, which took me a minute to find. It It took me a while to find this. This is basically, so this is the static, I think, but it's a gray. It's like a gray static. Yeah. 
Okay. Because they have a static one. Okay. That's coming that's out. a little bit lighter color. It's just this with white. Okay. Where the gray is is just white. And okay. so this one. Ooh, like a black and white instead of black and gray. Exactly. That sounds it's black and cool. white. I think you've showed me pictures of it. It's it's cool. Yeah, it is cool. And I like, I mean, there's, I like a lot of these little details and things on it. Um, so I got these from the employee store. They retail for 180. Mm-hmm. So I got them for 90. what 90. Yeah. And right now they aren't even on StockX. I had to find them on <laughs> Goat. And they're going. If you were to get the tens that I have, they'd be like 118. Okay. On on Goat. That's about fair. I mean, they're an Ultra Boost. There's so many that there's kind of the hype is long since mm-hmm. gone on Ultra Boost. I like, but these. the comfort is all the way there. Mm-hmm. And then they have Continental on there. Is that like a gun? No, Continental makes tires. Tires. That's what it is. I was like, and that's, it was like that's why they're making rubber. Because I was rubber. looking at somebody's tires. Oh, that's where I. Okay, I was like, I swear, I just saw this on yeah. the, on the bottom. It has Continental. Oh, oh, do they use like recycled tires or something? No, I think they just use a rubber compound that they buy from Continental. Tires. Okay. See that whenever Wait, I think maybe about it's recycled, whenever, but I don't. Whenever think I is. think about stuff like that, like uh, whenever I see. Um, like Gore-Tex mm-hmm. or um, I don't know, like any other rubber. Like what's that? Uh, what's the famous rubber company? That, or they make just like chemical compounds and they're really, it's like a name brand. Uh, DuPont? Yeah, DuPont. DuPont. Yeah. Okay. So I remember, I always think of that stuff because in marketing school or in business school, <laughs> I did go for marketing, but in business school, I remember my one of my teachers, he was like a... Um, uh, like for entrepreneurship class yeah, yeah. or something like that. He's like, look, don't, if you want to be a millionaire, mm-hmm. don't go into making products for end customers. Make, like, don't make the tires, make the rubber. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So make products that everyone has be, to buy to make their product. Be, exactly. Be so part of be the supply DuPont. chain. <laughs> be the yeah. DuPonts. And then he's like, and then you can just sponsor race cars or whatever because you're yeah. going to have so much like extra 3M. money. Dude, yeah, yeah, out yeah, like 3M. Dude, like 3 3M for making of those. all sorts of random ass shit. Yeah. Like, he's like, make the compounds they use for other things. Don't make, yeah, make the rubber. Because yeah. 3M then... gets like this shiny stuff. People call it 3M because I think 3M makes it. Mm-hmm. But they probably a have company... a patent. And you can patent yeah. it. Mm. I, I think you can patent shoe designs too. Yeah. But, um you can't close. Which is interesting. Oh. Did you know that? I think you told me that. Yeah. So like the it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's mm. like that's why there's so much innovation that happens in clothing. Yeah. Because you can't you can patent the the pattern mm-hmm. and the logo, but you can't patent the like because like I could just like somebody, I could send this to a factory and be like, yo, make the shirt exactly. Somebody and they would. can't patent like a t-shirt exactly there can't yeah because you can't have one company that makes all of the t-shirts of the world so yeah you can't just because there's too many variables and but the, the cool mm-hmm. thing is is then there's a lot of innovation that happens yeah but you can you can the fabrics you can and like the compounds that it's made of you can you can yeah yeah like the the actual, or a proprietary technique mm-hmm, or the actual a materials or whatever come up with, yeah. but and the logo obviously mm-hmm. but not like the t-shirt itself okay which is cool because then that's why fashion moves so quickly yeah because they're constantly like as soon as something's been out and it's cool like mm-hmm. a million people rip it off yeah and that's just how it is exactly it's so interesting yeah got little, i got a little off the sneakers here no, that's um fine. I really like these. I was a little, I was a little nervous. They kind of hurt my feet. I couldn't wear yeah, them a whole they, day. They had to break in. They right? definitely had to break in, but I was into it. Mm. I, I mean, I, I wore them a lot and a lot, and now I wear them a lot. My biggest complaint mm. is, I got these as clean as I could get them for the. But I have been wearing these quite often lately. Oh no, Boost gets Boost is just Boost like is a dirt magnet. The stupidest. Uh, it just I couldn't get it clean. Yeah, it's like trying to clean styrofoam. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No, at some point it's impossible. It's absorb. It's absorbed this color. Yeah. <laughs> like it's been absorbed. Yeah, it's not... boost k- tends to look kind of gross after a little while, but it, it's so comfy. It's, it is comfy. 
I just I wonder what this what sneaker would look like with like a black boost because they do that, right? They do, or I like think a gray I have one with. I don't know. My dad, maybe, I got my dad a pair, or like a cream. I told my not dad like to get a, a pair, not like a flat white. You know, my dad has a pair of the Ultra Boost Twenty, I think, and they have the black boost, and they still look pretty new. So it's made with uh, Parley Ocean plastic. Oh, nice. Or Parley, I don't know which. I think it's Parley. Parley. Yeah, because there's Parley. not a, there's not an A in there. It's E Y. Well, I just think Parley from the the. Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Do you remember that? You're not I thought really a parlay remember. was something that you do in gambling. I think it is. I think um, it's. I, I we don't, don't have David in the studio to look these things. David up. seems like he would maybe know what that is. Even he would probably just be like, "Oh, it's uh, this." He would remember it from the so, Adam Sandler. Did you even, have you tried these on or anything? No, you know I mean they, I have Ultra you know, Boosts, but I'll try them on. It, she wanted to try them on. I think I'm even wearing yeah. Adidas socks right now. Ooh. So, oh yeah, those they're are, pretty. Yeah, they feel like an ultra boost. I <laughs> they're, like them. They're they're pretty comfy. Yeah, honestly, I'll probably end up buying another <laughs> pair of them. Um, the uncaged DNA, because I think there was another color of them. Now this is an interesting thing. This is the the box for these. Yeah, that's it's the like, new style it's Adidas this new, box. New like this. What are, what are your thoughts before I tell you my thoughts? It's like a like the split open. I feel like they had. A team of engineers, and they were paying them money. No, I want your opinion, not and the story. They not don't tell me the story. To justify somebody's desk, <laughs> oh. I honestly think they innovated for no reason. They wanted, like they just pointless. wanted to do something new. Yeah, but my my honest opinion is it seems kind of pointless, but I think it's nifty. Um, have you bought a pair of sneakers that has this? I have. I hate it. Okay. I hate it. I don't, Spoiler alert. I didn't have that strong of an opinion about Not it. Not a fan. Because like, eh, I have had the sneakers fall out of them a couple of times. Oh. <laughs> like when I was, like just today when I was carrying the, because I put them in here and then I, and I brought them. Yeah. Because I wanted to talk about them. Um, Like, I don't know. I picked it up like this and then I was holding it and the sneaker and fell out. one of them fell <laughs> one out. One of them the just trap fell out. And I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> it it's is in dumb. a box oh i have to hold it like <laughs> you have to hold the i box had to like shut. i had to yeah and then i remember also that happening when we were in line at the adidas store it kept it kept wanting to and i i kept i was like oh this is a bad design this is because like i don't know i feel like you want to be able to hold it with one yeah, hand and, and calm and it, it you know and not have the yeah, sneaker like fall have, out have the box yeah holding the box keeps it shut Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. This is a dumb design. There also, you go, Adidas. Dumb design. Also, while we were at the Adidas store, I pulled the one was in there upside down. Oh, and you pulled it And I it pulled out it out, and a sneaker fell out. It was just like, is Burp. it? It's just it's stupid. I don't know. I not a fan of the design, but the sneakers are great. Uh, yeah, and that's a new. They used to just come in a regular box that just said Boost in great big letters. Yeah, like, yeah, just. Not like the Yeezys, but... Yeah, the Yeezy boxes are definitely the best of all the sneaker boxes that I've encountered. Yeah, they're I pretty cool. I think the Yeezy like, boxes is I like the, some of the classic Jordan boxes. Yeah, but I think yeah. the Yeezy is the best quality box so far that I've ever gotten on a sneaker. Yeah. I just... That's something I believe. Um, the, the Danner boxes are really nice. Right. Oh, like, the, those fancy <laughs> like, ass boots that I got, the, yeah, the, the, the fancy Bybergs, boot ones. they came in a, in a box that I knocked off a shelf and it landed on my head like a couple months ago and it hurt for a while. Like <laughs> so that thing, good it's box. cardboard, but it's like that cardboard that's been compressed. Oh. That like ooh. heavy shit. Like the box itself weighs like two yeah. pounds of cardboard. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty intense. Yeah. So that that has to take the cake. That's like the most premium shoe box I have. Mm -hmm. From the most premium shoes I have. So yeah. they better come in a damn nice box. Yeah. I that that's that's They should have come in a wood box. We, we, we Honestly, they should have come that. in the finest mahogany some that of those, they could find. Some of those um, the best Nike and stuff. Had to offer. Yeah. It it's hard sometimes where the when you pay like a lot for like a hyped sneaker and then it comes in just like kind of a shitty box. Dunks come in the most trash boxes. They come in those basic red and white, like, shitty boxes, the same as the Air Maxes come in. Yeah. Those shitty Nike boxes that are made out of 
pretty much printer paper. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, they're not good. Thick printer paper. And dunks come in those. And dunks are like, you know, if you pay aftermarket, you're paying like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. For a ninety-five dollar pair of shoes, <laughs> and it, it comes in printer paper. I it's like just yeah, can't. I really wonder when this whole dunk thing is going to be over. I think it's on its way out. I think it is. Yeah, because I have been so bored out of my skull that with dropped. what's happening right now. Well, in the last couple dunks that dropped had resale value, but it was like fifty bucks. It wasn't. They were like going for one fifty to two hundred. They weren't going for like three, four, five. Good. I'm done with it. I like dunks. I want them to come down so that I can get. Yeah, a pair. I want. I want to start wearing them more because they <laughs> actually are really useful. Shoes. They're a useful shoe that I like wearing to wear. But I just hate. I don't. There isn't any that I'm like. I'm not paying about. more than like 150 it's for It's a most shoe that I want to go to the store and buy. That's what I want. My I don't yeah. I, I don't want to like resell like I don't no 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 no. Well, did you see that uh that Virgil is dropping the 50 I, and they're literally all All the 50 ones. There's 50 of them? 50 of them. Okay, yes. All of them except one of them is black. All of the rest are white and gray with different color laces. With different color that no, and it's that not even the laces. It's like that other weird. Yeah, it's that, cord. that parachute cord he put over <laughs> top of the laces. That's the uh, thing that's a different color. This is we're going too far. We've we're gonna gone we're far. definitely gonna have to go for those and try to each get a pair because there's, there's fucking fifty of, fifty of them. So <laughs> if we can't get one of those, <laughs> and they're just gonna be coming out like. I don't know. They're probably going to come out like every damn day or something. <laughs> They're just going to drop a new pair every day. For 50 days. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. It's very stupid, but I'm 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 dumb enough that I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm not going to punish it the way I should. I'll go. <sighs> I just bought more. I just spent $400 on sneakers this month already. I didn't. I dumb. will be. I couldn't help I, it. I am. I got I, some resales yeah, what after, you... I, after I said I wasn't. There was two. Well, because mm-hmm. there's. I was looking at the schedule of like what's coming out and there was nothing that I'm excited about and yeah. everything I was excited about had just dropped and I missed I yeah. took an L on both of these sneakers. Which were the ones do we want to disclose it um, or do you want to keep it it's, secret? No, whatever. We'll yeah. we'll it'll be like an Easter egg for later episodes. Cool. Um cuz I got one I got a recent cop too. Though, oh, you did? Okay. So about. uh yeah, I got the uh Griffy the Air Griffy in the blue shoot the it's like blue and green okay colorway uh i can't now i can't remember the name of the mm-hmm. color but it just dropped the royal is, is what it's called yeah and the um and then i got the the sixes that i wanted the green sixes yeah the, the green volt, and black the volt green or whatever yeah. it is i wanted those real bad and i i wanted a Have pair of sixes showed up yet no They're i actually i actually got the i got the the thing i'm gonna be out of town for a week and um, they're bu- I had to put I was I'm glad they're coming FedEx because mm-hmm. I was able to go and and on my account and be like can you not deliver them until this day because <laughs> I'm not gonna be here and my roommate won't be here either so. yeah so I pushed them back I was thinking about so hitting you, you got up, those but... you got those by putting bids in on yeah Starbucks, so I right? did I did I did bids kind of like eBay I totally had not really used that before. Mm-hmm. Um, so you were able to get them for a little under the ass. Yeah, I I was like I was really trying to get the Griffies because the Griffies weren't mm-hmm. like the resale wasn't that high. Yeah, and I was trying to get them. So my first couple bids were actually below retail, and then somebody outbid me. So I I upped my bid, and then somebody outbid me again. So I upped my bid, and then I was like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what am I doing? I don't want them. I was like more wanting them. I wanted to get them for for like retail yeah real bad but i went a few dollars over retail and then like somebody way outbid me and then i like upped my bid and i was like shit and then i i literally i was like you know what i don't need those and i went in and i was like damn it somebody took my bid <laughs> so i think i paid uh 186 for them what was retail on those 160 ones 170 170 oh that's not that bad 15 bucks 16 bucks over retail yeah that's yeah. not a big deal it wasn't i mean and i had to pay for shipping so yeah yeah a yeah. little bit more because you get free shipping if you get it off the app yeah and then the other ones i got them for i think i got um they were what they retail for like 190 yeah for those sixes mm-hmm. and i think i paid 210 okay so that's not that bad either and it was like under the so high... 20 dollars over it was like under the ask price right but not yeah the ask was like was like 250 or something oh and okay. so i was able to get them now the griffies though 
it was funny. I was like bidding on them, and then I went and um, this was the other reason I was going to cancel my bid is because I I watched like a review, and they're like, yeah, you definitely want to go up a half size. Oh, because they're pretty narrow, and I was like, no, and so I like went in, and I looked at the I looked at the ten five, mm-hmm. and they were like. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I was like, "Oh, so everyone wants this size?" I was like, "I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even, like." And I looked at like the lowest bid, and the lowest bid was like, you know, like two, two thirty or something. Or something. Yeah. And I was like, "I'm not." So clearly, so th- what's interesting about that to me is that means that everyone knows that you need to go up a half size. Mm-hmm. So the people, all the ten people, <laughs> there must be a lot of tens. So, well, no, I think it's a pretty common size. Mm-hmm. I feel like. What is the most common shoe size? I don't for see. Men? That's that's another. I have no idea. That's, that's an interesting a stat. We should find out that thing. Damn it, David! I know this is where we need our David. Uh, and brother I don't, getting married. Well, and shit. yeah, someday. Lame. You know, we'll look it up. But I feel like ten, like nine to ten, is like pretty common. I feel mm-hmm. like. Um, and so I I I bet you that they underproduced the ten and a halves. Like if I were just to guess. More oh. people are likely to buy a full size. I've this is based on nothing but purely speculation. Mm-hmm. So you know, whatever. I think people are afraid to do a half size. I would prefer to buy a regular size. Just for some reason, it's like a nice round half size. Is feels weird to me. Like to always go for a half size. I feel like I'm gonna try the full size and then see what happens. You know what I mean? No, I don't know. I feel like they underproduce the half sizes. I bet you. Okay. Huh. I bet you they don't sell as much. Just a purely se- speculation. I would like to see the I numbers guess there on that. could be some psychology behind that. Of I don't just really like, know. I don't know. It feels like it's just like, yeah, just whatever. I, I don't know. Just round it up or down, you know? No. I, I mean, I know they do that on like flip flops, but with regular shoes, I would figure they'd. I don't I know. Feel like I half for a long is, time is, is one where you try it on and you just need a little bit more. Yeah, for a long time but I when thought you're I buying was a ten and a half. Shit, you have no idea. Until I I you really get thought I was a size ten and a half for like a decent amount of my life, and then like I went. You're to an a... engineer though, because you got you're like detail oriented. I'm just like I couldn't be bothered. Let's round it down. Round it down. <laughs> That's <laughs> such a bad policy, especially when you have a fucked up foot. But like, I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I okay. well, the reason I, is because I always want to have it as small as possible so that yeah. the other foot isn't swimming. Maybe that's why for me. Oh, okay. Maybe that is it. Huh. And so, I mean, the, the messed up foot thing, that's why I wanted, I really wanted to try these. And you were, you were talking about them. So yeah, much. I had hyped up the Ultra Boost as being super comfortable. And I'm glad that the ones you got turned out to be comfortable. I had to wear them, like I'd wear them like... At, I couldn't wear them a whole day. And uh-huh. I had to wear them a little bit, and then they've they've stretched. They've since stretched out. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Okay, these feel. I'm an underwear guy, <laughs> and they're pretty snug on you mm. when you're wearing them. So those are the boxer briefs and mm-mm, fucking. Mm-mm. Oh, these are the like the jock straps or the briefs. Oh of, yeah, uh, of sneakers. Of sneakers, because they're they're just they're hugging all there, your. There is a stuff. speedo there. Yeah, these are the speedos of I mean, yeah. uh, of sneakers. That's actually fair because like, I have a few pairs of Ultra Boost and I really like them for walking and I kind of like that yeah. aspect of them that they they hold your foot. It's like real tight. Yeah, on, it's weird when you're if you're wearing like <laughs> like tight underwear and tight shoes you're just like oh it's a real tight day <laughs> like everything's just like packed and not get moving. it right get it <laughs> and then, tight and then i got my tight shirts on because uh <laughs> i'm in denial about going up a side <laughs> <laughs> oh that was funny with you and ryan i was listening to the new episode yeah. and you guys were just sharing like guys with a belly tips oh. you're just like oh yeah, yeah you we're can talking put about your putting... snacks there <laughs> yeah, that's right you you said I put my skittles there, and Ryan goes, "Ooh, that's a good idea." <laughs> like not even all one hundred percent serious, just like, "Oh, son of a bitch, oh, that's a good I, idea." Wish I thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do that later tonight. <laughs> it, was, it was like, yeah, just sharing guys with the belly tips. It was it was pretty funny, dude. Okay, have you? I, I um I I have this thing I'm going to, so I had to get a black shirt and uh-huh. my all my black like buttoned down like a nice black shirt yeah 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 um and i was in the store and the nice shirts all the dress shirts Mm -hmm. are like in those there's like plastic and all this all these pins you have to pull out and 
I had to undo it's like such a pain in the ass. Four of them, and I was just like, "Good luck, employee, putting this back." <laughs> like, they need something to do. It's the dumbest. Why did it's they? Fucking I dumb, have though. to try that on. I was there. Was, yeah. I was very tempted to just be like, "Oh, maybe I just buy it," and I'm like. Don't don't. No, you dare. eventually I think. Don't you dare! Well, you got to try this on. I have a few dress shirts because you know when I worked in the office it was yeah. business casual, and so I had to wear dress shirts. So I kind of found like out like what my neck size was, mm. and that's sort of how you buy those. And there was also like once you'd get one that fit, you just went and got the same one in a different color. That's true. That's true. You know, I guess, but. I still needed to. I, I just still felt bad. Try I just left on, this though. stuff, this trash everywhere. Yeah. On the shelf. I, was like, I do Ugh. have, I have one dress shirt that I really went all out. I went to like, there's this fancy menswear like spot. Me- measured you and everything? No, I didn't go that far. It was still like off the rack, but it's like a premium one. Mm-hmm. It's like, I bought it. They, this, this store downtown, they have like a sale every January, like when they mark it down yeah. crazy. Yeah. To like a regular, like a semi-affordable price. So I bought this shirt that would be like $350 for like $150. Okay. And it was like almost the, worth the money. Okay. Like that I'm that, sure. that fabric is really amazing. Like it's it, the quality is I just, definitely there. I still think it's dumb that it they have dumb. all that like weird it's packaging. It's so dumb to have all the... Like I when can't. you go to a Macy's and they're all like no, that exactly. kind of thing. That's that, what I was doing. Basically. Yeah, because <laughs> like, most of my dress shirts are like that. Type and then of I realized that there were like two different brands, out. and I was like, "Why? Well, I, I want to see how this brand fits mm-hmm. and how this one fits." So I got to take all this stuff off and like take it apart. Like, w- I don't know. Like, it just feels like a huge waste. It's like wouldn't be that hard to just have it like actually Hang hanging the, up. Have like yeah. And it's kind of weird because it's got all these wrinkles in it, too. I know. They always end up looking like shit, and then so you have just to like, iron it when you get home. I'm like, so I got to just like, yeah, I don't have an iron. I do so have an I, iron if here's, you need Here's one. what I do. I just hang it up and run the shower. That'll do it. <laughs> That's, the, That's good enough. The lazy throw poor the, man. <laughs> throw it in the dryer steamer. with a... <laughs> run run some water on a sock and throw it in the dryer. Yeah, I can do that. I've 100% done that. Been like, well, hey, I'm steaming it. I don't... <laughs> I don't... Um, have in unit laundry oh so i would okay. have to pay the like 225 or whatever mm. to run the dryer yeah dude the other day i ran my clothes and i dried them and they like mm-hmm. didn't dry so i did it a second time and they dried on the second one and then i was unloading them and there was <laughs> there was a pillow that was like stuck to the ad- exhaust part of the dryer <laughs> like a full-on like pillow for not a pillow case like a whole not a case like an actual whole pillow and i was like that is how a dryer fire that that is did you move it i did i pulled it out i was like god damn this cost me three dollars good samaritan extra i had to dry twice uh i was annoyed that is a pain it's not a pain when you own when you just have it in in you yeah but yeah that is a nice thing about my apartment but here's the thing dude i do way less laundry that's the other thing. I just, I like make it work. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying like I always, I just own a lot of socks and underwear and um, t-shirts and I, you know, wash my pants like once a month, but yeah. Well, jeans, especially you can get away with washing. Aren't you them supposed to just like put them in the freezer or whatever? No, or, like, that's get definitely. in the bathtub. I don't know. Okay, There's that, something about that. That's like some raw <laughs> like... denim dork shit and it's not true at all because i, I am much i don't wash mine i just occasionally shower in i them. am kind of a raw denim dork <laughs> is that a thing that you freezer shit is fucking stupid <laughs> you gotta have like a full-on big freezer or do you fold them and then put them in there no in you freezer? just don't do that because it's fucking <laughs> like, dumb my freezer's not that big the like, theory is like put them in the freezer the in this theory thing is <laughs> that the like, cold temperatures were, will kill the bacteria and it won't mm. smell anymore but it's dumb. It's bullshit. Have you done it though? Like, be I think real. I did it once. And how did it work? It didn't at all. <laughs> did, did it still smell? Yes. Did you not put them in the freezer long enough? Did it make your food smell? <laughs> like, no, I think I put it, do it. That no, I didn't. I I didn't do that. I and I had a chest freezer at the time out in the garage. This is when I was in college. Oh. And I put them out there for a couple days in the freezer, I think, and I brought them back in, and they still were like jeans that were dirty and so i just fucking washed them yeah and since then i've definitely bought multiple pairs of raw denim that i've like faded you know because i'm a dick Mm -hmm. and uh 
No, because you're passionate, Nick. Sure. You're a passionate dickhead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, I, 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 we got to definitely maintain that I'm a little bit of a dickhead buying expensive jeans from Japan and then not washing them for months. It's pretty stupid. Whatever, dude. But it's, it's kind of fun. I respect it. Don't downplay it. Okay. It's, it's okay. fun. Okay. It is fun. It's enjoyable. It's like, I mean, it's like, I, I, yeah. I golf. Because you have I to wear know. pants. You know, Why not and you have make to it wear... a hobby? Why not turn it into a weird hobby? <laughs> What's another thing that you have to do that you could just... I mean, that's like getting into coffee drinking in the morning. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's on par. It's though. getting that's sort into of the food. Same. Like, being a foodie is definitely... Do you, you call do, yourself a foodie? I don't because I think it's annoying, but I definitely like But you're food. into food. You're like a hipster. I'm, I'm you're, like... You're a hipster. I'm a hundred percent a hipster. Because a hipster doesn't claim as a hipster. Exactly. I'm actually more of a hipster than most of these hipsters do. I know. I'm fucking... <laughs> Got a pickup truck in Portland. Yep. I'm ahead of the curve. That's all it is. You should have That's a hat is, with uh, some lures on it. Do you have one of those? No. Isn't that what the foam's for in trucker hats? For lures, right? I don't put lures. I'm just making some shit up. But you are. But I like, definitely had a hat with some lures. Yeah. And then I fell skateboarding. I feel a bit like I've put stuff. I went put into something. Like flies so. and lures on a hat before. Like an actual fishing lure is. V- kind of it's a chunk of fucking metal it's like it it unbalances your hat yeah and you don't want to have that no my hat needs perfect balance do you when you when you fish do you do like unbarbed or barbed are you a barb uh, um, isn't that a thing i don't yeah. even remember anymore because then it comes out easier I, yeah i'll debarb the hook pretty often also there are certain rivers like a you couple weeks to. ago i went to the fall river down by bend gotcha. and it's fly fishing only and barbless hooks only Oh, cool. So, place like that, obviously, bend the barb. Yeah. I kind of bend the barb because I, I do mostly catch and release. Mm-hmm. Like, I rarely, if ever, keep a fish. <laughs> You're and just so traumatizing the, yeah, the I'm river. Just, I'm just, I'm trying just to there prove, to fuck up their day. I just want to prove that I'm smarter than a fish. <laughs> yeah. Again and again to myself because my ego is not strong. And uh, so, yeah, I'll debarb the hook because then it's easier for me. Like, half the time they just get off. But if if they don't, you know, you get them in the net, you just boom, mm-hmm. pop it out, put them back there, fast. There's not an equivalent for like deer hunting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Missing? <laughs> you just, I just go and miss. I, yeah. I do catch and release. Yeah, hunting. that's the thing. Hunting, there really isn't shoot and release. <laughs> shoot and release. Now, nah, I'm just you're... feeding the wolves out here, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> just that's just called poaching. You're that's just poaching. an asshole <laughs> if you're just out murdering well, yeah, animals you, like, and leaving it, them. <laughs> take the horns and just like. And yeah, no, bounce. that's you're like an actual felon. Dude, I think, when if I, you do that, when I hit a deer, you're also time. a douche if you do that. But you're a, yeah. a felon. I, I, I'm pretty sure that poaching is at least a big crime. It's a felony, I think good it should be yeah yeah I, like if you shoot an animal and just take the horns and leave so the rest all, you, all you of are my, in trouble all of my animal killing experience uh-huh. has been with cars <laughs> and highways yeah <laughs> and it's an effective um, method yeah yeah i remember one time i can't remember if it was when i hit a deer or my family hit a deer when we in our car and our family vehicle but this person stopped like to help us mm-hmm. or that's what we thought and um no, nah, they just took the, they just like cut the horns off and pieced. Like, and we were just like, where'd that guy go? I thought he was going to like help us. <laughs> well, the <laughs> like, problem is like. He like stopped in a truck and then just took off. It was weird. It was like, yeah. oh, cool. You're just going to. Well, like deer antlers do have <laughs> like a monetary value. My friend so. used to go look Shed for hunting them. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, those guys, if you get, if you actually figure that out and have He spots, was good at it. Yeah, if you're good at it, you can make money. Cause so he was just... a Bozeman friend. So. Yeah, yeah. He was. He had, his, he had all his spots. Now, I knew a bunch of people that were into shed hunting. I never got into it. It was like... Yeah, it sounds... So, yeah, what it is for our listeners oh, yeah, is... Oh, yeah, uh, explain it. Yeah, certain species like deer and elk and moose, like the, the deer family... They rub one off. They do. In the woods. They, uh... <laughs> Yeah, well, they shed their antlers every spring and then grow back another pair. Right. And so those fall off in about March and April, somewhere in there. And mm-hmm. then people wander around the woods and look for them because you can sell them. Yeah. Especially if you can find a matching pair. Oh, like yeah. if you find one, there's a decent chance you'll find the other one Pretty nearby. Close by. And then you have the, the whole set. And yeah. people will actually pay money depending on, you know, a lot of factors that condition and the mm-hmm. size and all that antelope uh like pronghorn antelope they also shed like the sheath 
that's around their horns. Okay. They have horns, not antlers. And it's like a hair. It's a weird thing. It's like a hollow thing that's kind of like hair that binds together and creates that black horn. Weird. Yeah. Antelope I, are, are a different... The pronghorn antelope are a different type of... I thought it was like... Slightly well, different type know. of animal than uh, than a deer and an elk and a moose. Dude, like I don't a, know if we've told this story the time that I got... I, I don't know if I told this on the podcast. So yeah. I'm going to tell it again. Tell uh, it. The time that I got... Um, I encountered a deer... And then I got between it. It was a mom and oh. like her baby. No, I don't think you've told Okay, this. so I was at my friend's house uh-huh. and I parked my car and I was like, oh, a deer. And then I got out and I was just like, yeah, deer is so docile and not threatening. I'll be okay. Like, I no thing, right? Mm-hmm. I get out of my car and this deer starts like freaking out and like, like I don't know, stomping and snorting at me. And yeah. I was like, this is aggressive behavior. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get back into my car and so i got back in my car and it like ran up and it was just like dude giving me this eyeball giving you a look (laughs) yeah like i was just like oh boy and she was like jumping and like like gallop i was just like and making really weird noises i'd never heard a deer make ever damn i was super scared i was just like you've been "Mm." attacked by a deer yeah, or like as much as a dude. Deer can I found out later attack. that that was like I could have gotten seriously injured by this deer because I was just like, "Oh, a deer! Oh, hi, deer! You're so cute!" And then I got out and I was like, "Oh boy!" Got back in the car. It did that, and then I saw the fawn in like a review, and I was like, "Oh, it's a mom and her baby!" And I was between them. Mm. And then she she just like gave me an eye, and then when the baby ran off, then then she ran off behind it. But that was yeah. when I was like. Oh, these are wild animals. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not just like, oh, cool, a deer. How majestic. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, oh, boy. I've also had a deer hit my car. Um, like, run into the side of my car. Yeah. And once I knocked a deer over. That yeah, was my the dad, funniest. My dad had a deer do that. Where it was just running it, through it, the woods. He said a, a buck was running <laughs> and it ran directly into the side of yeah. his truck no that's exactly what on happened the highway. to my subaru it was just like <laughs> it just was like what the hell was that yeah have there... you ever like raced a deer or an no, antelope in I, montana I like where not. they're where they're next to the highway and then they're just they'll just run and race your car i think don't the... do it no but like they will oh, sometimes that's crazy an think... antelope are crazy like pronghorn antelope run so fast dude one of the funniest things i've ever seen ever witnessed was there was this car they were like next to me Mm -hmm. and um then their tire just came off their car and then it rolled uh i like braked off because Mm -hmm. it was like oh your tire just came off and um it it like hits this thing and it just bounced and just went off this like cliff into a river that was next to the road (laughs) And, and I remember, it like, the, I was like, the car only has three wheels on it now. And then they went, like, started swerving and then yeah. they like, pulled over. And that so was when it, I realized this, the wheel just went flying off into a just river. Came, it just came off. And, dude, I mean, it, like, it really, I mean, it well, goes. Well, you're probably going, what? You're on the freeway. Yeah, so it's yeah, going, like, going 80. Like 80. <laughs> and Imagine this, a this wheel. wheel just going 80 and it just hits, like, a an obstacle. And dude. Just, it was the coolest thing. That actually sounds really it was fun. Really, to watch. really cool. I'd really enjoy watching that. I, I, I don't want people to get right. hurt, so I'm not gonna like hope okay. for it. Last one. Sounds entertaining. Last one of these, and then we should. I don't know. Talk about running or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was on the freeway, and I, I drove. When you live in Montana, you drive on That's the freeway. That's all you a do because shit's poured. far away from other shit. Yeah. Like I went to school 350 miles away from my parents, and I would go. And it was all often. in Montana. All in the same state, within the same state. So I've yeah. done a lot of, and I've done a lot of just adventuring, but uh, I was just on the free once and I saw a, um, a, a back tire of, a, of a, a camper came off and it went so far. It, it went, it went off the road and like, I think it went like between and then it jumped the other road. Like it went between in the median and mm-hmm. then it jumped, it cleared it hit the transition on the other side and just like kept going bounce. I was like, Oh, there's a fence. It hit the fence, went like 20 feet in the air and then just went so far into this field, like really, really far. And you could just tell they like pulled over and mm-hmm. I was like, dude, have fun. <laughs> you ain't getting that. You, that is like a <laughs> mile away right now. This is ridiculous. In like uh, some farmland, you know, yeah. just like, 
crazy cool stuff. shit. So, do you do running in your Ultra Boost? I don't do running. I've I mostly just uh, I, I, power walk with my dog when and, I have, and work. When I have run and worn them, they've been lovely for it. But I'm <laughs> lovely. Not, yeah, they, you're just running. You're like, oh, this is lovely. I'm not thinking about my feet. I'm only thinking about how. Right. Yeah. It's like for the I three minutes have that, that I'm burrito. capable of running, <laughs> they're like, well, my feet weren't the problem. <laughs> my feet weren't the problem. <laughs> the shoes did fine. I think the rest of me didn't fare so well, but the shoes were not the weak link. So that's as much as I can say for them. I would say because I golfed in these mm-hmm. a couple times. I didn't love it because I like sometimes you're on like uneven ground mm. and like my feet sort of slip around in them. Oh, I've I wasn't definitely the biggest fan of that part of them. I have like that style. Mine were the 4.0, but they're generally that style. Mm-hmm. And I kind of use those as just like a slip on. You know, I know, I mostly use these for walking my dog. Thing and to beat up. Yeah, I have the 19 and the 21, which are much more kind of running focused. I think. Okay. And those are the ones that I use for walking, and I use them for hiking, and they've been pretty good for that. Yeah, so. I don't. I just don't know if I'd hike in these because of the uneven part. If it's uneven stuff, it, you just it just kind of feels like I feel like the ones I'm that I've got have a little bit tighter of a prime. It's probably the cage. So they're part. a little bit more They have the cage on them. They have the cage but well the 19 doesn't I don't think. That was I don't just remember. The part, I no, it does. They like they all do. It, they all have the cage. I just feel like my foot's doing this, you know. Yeah. No, like, the, they all have the cage the ones I have, but the prime knit itself is a little tighter. Then that's probably these, why I didn't like them because I need a little yeah. bit more stretch for my weird foot. But it it the stability from that does help when you're hiking. A but little bit. I hate that I'm about to what I'm about uh-huh. to say, but this is making wearing these is making me want to try to maybe three fifty. <laughs> like, so I definitely it. went for one. <laughs> Do it. Oh, I don't know. They're just still too expensive for what they are. But yeah, but they're cool. And the ones I went for are all the mono white. Ice. I'm like, this is uh, th- my I'm least really favorite thing about is how those. white, how much white is on this. So, right, but on the 350, that's covered in plastic that oh, also right. absorbs dirt very that quickly. Also, but like, it but is, it's, it's just oh, like this plastic that has dirt all over it. Yeah, is it yeah, this pretty plastic? much. Yeah, <laughs> or like <laughs> sort of, but opaque, so it's it shows up really, really. I'm easily. just like, how am I do? Am I just like? walking with my feet just clacking together no yeezys get dirty when you look at them <laughs> you like they look at them absorb like... dirt <laughs> the b- yeah yeah so uh, i i did i guess let's i gotta bring up the shoes i bought yeah what'd you get yeah so i uh, forgot now i got the sakai blazer lows oh that that's dropped right last week and i i took ones. an l on them so no i haven't gotten them yet SB box. but our our buddy cj over there at sneaker oh, peak yeah. he got them and he posted on Instagram. He's like, long away to W or something. Yeah. And then also, definitely not keeping these. So I hit mm. him up. I was like, what do you want for him? Uh, and we, definitely buying them. <laughs> and yeah, because that, that was like a pair that I really wanted. They're yeah. the lows. And it, he got the green, and I think it's green and yellow. There was an orange and yellow and a green and yellow. Okay, that one's kind of cool. And I the green was my favorite of the two. And that's the one he got. And cool. he hooked me up. So yeah, shout out to them. There was... Shout out to... Have we CJ for... we haven't done I uh, maybe I'll save this for when we do the episode about my shadow ones. Yeah. Okay, cuz we haven't done that episode yet. No, have we? we haven't yet. Okay. I mostly just wanted to do these because I wear them so often that I've accidentally worn them in and then had to go back. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cuz of our rule. <laughs> where I'm just wearing them. I know. That often. We need to we need to do more pods that are just you and I so I that know. we can get through some more of our shoes. So I have, have so many I have so many that I haven't uh, cause there was that new like blue, cause there was a pink one that came out a while back. Uh, it was like a, a it, it's not a Jordan one or it's like a dunk. And then the, the, the swooshes like stick out in the back. Mm. I oh yeah. That called. ambush. one. Yeah. The ambush one. I really like that, yeah. but it looks like it's even higher than a Jordan one high. Like, and that was my biggest complaint. I was not complaint. really a fan of those, honestly. I like the I don't swoosh think... that extent. I like that, I, I thought it was kind of dorky. Cool. I, didn't, I thought it looked silly. And the silly. blue on it is so sick, but I didn't even go for them because I was like, yeah. I'm going to hate wearing these. Here's the thing. I'm so inconsistent because I like <laughs> the wackiest shit, but I also, some wacky shit I don't like. Like those, 
did not like the Sakai's love. Yeah. And they're both ridiculous. You're like, double swoosh on board. Yeah, double swoosh. <laughs> Extend the swoosh. Tons uh, get of, the fuck out of here. Tons of like tape, basically. Yeah. Just looks extra tape. Looks like they repaired it. <laughs> Sloppily. You're like, yeah, love I'll it. pay extra. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but put the more swoosh tape extends on that. and it looks kind of whatever. I, it's like, it's those like ones cool, weren't like, for me. like modern kind of, I don't know, like Jetsons Well, that's the beauty with it. all those like high fashion collapse is like they're, you know, some of them hit for certain it, people. It has like a retro modern feel to me. Yeah. That's I, what I like. That, I like. I, like I like you like, have like a table that's mm. like one of those weird, you know, and you and like a slab house. Yeah. I like, like that you like it. Or it reminds, you but know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those like old Cadillacs with the big like yeah with the fins thing, with the fins on yeah, the back like the and the trunk that's as big feet. as your extended cab yeah like they've got <laughs> like, the six foot bed yeah, like but the it's six a trunk trunk do you ever notice how big those trunks are they're yeah. insane and those old cars yeah yeah you're yeah. like the oh whole, my god well the whole car is like twenty five <laughs> feet long yeah. it's like gigantic like the hood is eight feet. Oh. And then you open it up, and the engine's not that big. There's just like, <laughs> there's, there's just lots of just, air. Like, you put can put other stuff in. There's two a more engines in the uh, next. No, to the, but there no, isn't. No, no, just put your bags next to the engine. <laughs> no, but there isn't. It's just wide open space that you can like see the ground. Oh, you can just like they're just like, uh, should we yeah, put a bigger those, engine. Those nah. big old cars. It's hilarious. You open the hood, and there's like. There's a country mile. <laughs> you can it's, you could, it's like, whoa, you can swap. You could put three swap. more engines. You, <laughs> you could put, put the motor out of a semi truck in there if you want. Batteries in there. That's oh yeah, so you could you could Tesla convert one of them. Just Tesla put convert. like, except the thing's probably so heavy that. Well, it would be once you put. Dude, I gotta tell you about this. Four thousand pounds of Tesla I really, batteries. I really, 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 really wish I was fast enough with my phone, but I was uh -huh. currently driving yesterday on um burnside mm -hmm. and i asked todd to take a picture but he was like what <laughs> didn't understand what yeah. i meant or which car i was talking about i saw a lifted um a no joke a lifted um loyal nice. <laughs> the subaru loyal the old the wagon. old oh dude it was sick with the Dirty. casey lights obviously <laughs> yeah casey you gotta have some casey on lights. the top <laughs> and like it had the i mean it had the um those like plastic things for not getting for getting for not getting stuck the like unstuck oh, the traction things. pads yeah yeah it had the traction pads it had the little did you have a rooftop tent no it wasn't a rooftop tent okay. but it had a roof like the metal roof rack thing yeah, with those the and then basket. and then it had those like red um plastic things i don't know if you put water or gas in them oh yeah sure. the, the gas gas are cans. they gas cans i think they're gas if they're red if they're I think red they're right gas cans. you're supposed to do like blue Blue should be water. Is yeah. water and um because I remember you yeah know, in the nineties the kind of guys they were that have that juice. are pretending they're in the military so they yeah, probably yeah, yeah. want to color code everything in their life right and red and explodes. they probably drop, oh, so probably spell it out with like military letters like alpha mm -hmm. and tango and all the rest of them. I was just, just so stoked to see that uh, there's not an A or a T in the word red, <laughs> but like those were the ones that came to mind. Yeah, dude, it was cool. It was yeah. a cool moment. I was like, oh, I wanted to take a picture and send it to you. But I love, uh, I love those kind of cars. I do <laughs> love a like a car car that's then been modified to be an off road car. Mm -hmm. Like that makes me laugh. Yeah. There's a guy in my neighborhood that has a like a Safari Miata. It's like a okay. Miata that's lifted, and he's got it on <laughs> like. It it has the ground clearance of my car probably. Yeah, yeah, like, no, it's got But it's lifted. It's got maybe like 6 to 8 inches of ground clearance with it's got the ground clearance of a it's just of got, a stock forerunner. It's just got big fat tires and he just cut the fenders out so that they'd fit basically. That's hilarious. And it's like army green. It's yep. actually fucking awesome. Shout out to that guy. That's I don't awesome. know who he is, but his his Safari Miata is fucking safari cool. Safari Miata. Yeah. Sick, bro. Um, I don't know if we talked about this. Uh -huh. I could never drive. I've driven a Miata, and I'm just like, no, thank you. I felt like I was falling every time I got into it. Like it felt mm. like a controlled fall. Just because of how low it is. Well, there's no. Yeah, it was so low, and there's no handles. Like I want a handle. Oh, yeah, because it's to not, get in. Got a roof. There's well, no the, roof it's, on. It's, I mean, it's I was like, what do I hang onto the windshield as I mm. get in? Put fingerprints on it. This is weird. <laughs> like the the like 
four by four. It felt like it was four feet wide. Honestly, they're not. I big. was like, I do they're not very like this car. experience at all. You could probably enjoy the safari uh, Miata then. Uh, yeah, you got that extra and then extra height. Too. I was in Vegas, and like Vegas streets are kind of messed up. They're it's like trying to go down. A lot of Vegas streets are like driving down Lombard oh. or no. Uh, uh, yeah, Lombard. It's yeah, just the like one that like makes a variety of turns. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it, like every and, mile it turns instead another, of like instead 10 of re- degrees. and instead of repaving it, they just like fix the potholes just for years, and the potholes have just like it's just like all these patches of yeah, like so just lots at of this patchwork. Point, it may as well and be you're a just like cobblestone <laughs> street. <laughs> it's like going down a cobblestone street. Yeah, and, it's like in a Miata. Yeah, you feel has, like you're has like Benjamin this much Franklin. Suspension. <laughs> In like yeah. 1775, uh, it was just like yeah, was, in a horse-drawn carriage. You're just like, like bouncing along. Just like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna bounce out of this stupid car. Yeah, I hated it. Mm. So I was like, I'm never buying one of these things. Uh, well, and I, I just, I felt so vo- like, like a crossover felt like it was like a, like a. A monster truck next to me, like you know, when you're like sitting yeah. and you're just like, yeah, we're just gonna sit here on the ground next to you, <laughs> right? But I, I every think, car is. I think so that's all. That's sort of part of the fun uh, of those little cars. But to feel like you're sitting on the ground and vulnerable, no, good to be low I'm to sure, the ground and handle nice. Yeah, I'm sure it's great, but I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. I want to be able to like, I don't know, see over the Corolla <laughs> to make a right turn. <laughs> If if a Corolla feels like it's make endangering my right turn on red, I don't want to drive that car. <laughs> like... Yeah, I mean you don't buy a Miata for safety. No, you don't. It's like, oh, what's this? What's a nice safe car? Let me get something that doesn't have a roof, <laughs> and I'll get my no. head knocked off by an F three fifty. Yeah, like... if I get in a crash with it, I wouldn't. You wouldn't the. The the whole car would go over you, and oh, then you'd get bonked in the face with the the pumpkin, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, we All should right. probably get. We out probably of here. should. Do so Bjorn, do... okay, I'm ready. Let's see. Maybe. What if a uh, what if a, a a burglar has heard your stories about about the deer <laughs> that you that you ran over? He's like, he might have those antlers. Maybe he told that story. To pin that on someone else when that was actually something he did. Yeah. I'm not saying that you did this, but this could be the logic of a burglar. Yeah, these, yeah, yeah. These are criminals. They're not thinking their right mind. And so he breaks into your house on a hunt for deer antlers. And as he's snooping around, he realizes that the shoes he has on aren't very comfortable. And he snags those instead. And he slips them on and is like, ooh. He, yeah, he slips them on. They're, they're cozy. He's like, I could, I could run to my <laughs> next victim much quicker. And then he steals your fake bear rug too, just because. Yeah, yeah. But but he takes those in the fake bear rug, and yeah. they're reimbursing you for both. Okay. You getting more of these? I probably get another pair of these, honestly. Okay. I, I mean, I even would probably pay full full retail for them. I, I would not pay. You would go more. You would go one eighty on those. I no. What it's one full retail. One one eighty. Oh, um, dude, one eighty? Nah. I'm yeah, not going you see, one eighty on these. I'm going employee <laughs> store retail employee ninety store, yeah. all day long. All day long. Yeah, I will replace them. Okay. I don't know if I go one eighty on these, but the thing is, is I do wear them. I, I kind of have like my everyday. I always have like my go tos. Mm-hmm. Though lately, it's been these. They're and such mids. a good everyday dude. But mids too. Mm. If it's raining, I go mids because they're these suck. If it's raining, yeah, like, those your things feet get, get very wet. Yep. These things, like if you walk in a puddle, it like absorbs and it's just like, oh, did you want the bottom of your foot to be wet as well <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the day somehow? Yeah, because that's what these do. It's dumb that they develop these in Portland <laughs> because I swear I've walked through like not even like just like. The ground is wet, and they just like they just sponge that water up. They and, really do. They're just, not a good. And then just put it on the bottom of they're your. They're not a great wet weather shoe. <laughs> no, they're not. That's why I bought those Gore-Tex Nikes for walking in the rain, mm-hmm. and that that was now, the move. My rain, my my. So th- this is like a go-to daily wear. Um, but like I always, look, I, I don't know. Nobody like looks at them or cares about them. Yeah, um, but I kind of like that. In some of my shoes, like a, like a daily wear shoe, I don't mind if it's not that flashy. Yeah, if it's comfortable enough, I'll take the, I'll take the comfort over the flash. And it is, 
it is comfortable. And it's also sneaker people see it and they're like, okay, it's an Ultra Boost. This guy's he's not just buying some shit from Kmart. Yeah. Yeah, these are these these ain't from Kmart. They're from the employee store. <laughs> right, but they don't know that. They probably know I, I that just, in this town, but I don't know, man. I like I just don't feel like Adidas have that flexibility that that like a basic any Jordan. Nobody, okay, I've never gotten a compliment on these not once. Yeah, I've never gotten a compliment on my Ultra Boost. But even my I most... have actually gotten a compliment on the color. I've got a pair that are bright blue and yeah, people like the okay. color of those. I feel like if these were like an electric blue or red or yeah. something like a volt or something like that then maybe i'd get probably more attention mm-hmm. on them um but i've never gotten a compliment on these and um and that's i don't know it just like makes me um less stoked on them i mean i'm still wearing them yeah um but like my most basic jordan will usually get a compliment uh, like someone will notice them and, mm-hmm. or mention it. Yeah, bring you're it right. up. No, but these aren't these aren't that type of shoe though. These are the shoes I'm wearing every time. Almost every time I'm wearing them, I'm like, oh, I should have wore something else. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, God, where was I yesterday? I was just walking my dog. That's all I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was just walking my dog, and there was oh, I walked. I walked in a park past uh past a bunch of people playing basketball mm-hmm. and they definitely were looking at my Jordans that I was wearing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> but then there was like another time I was, oh no, today I was wearing uh-huh. these today. I wore these all day. Um, same basketball deal. Basketball players did not take a look. Nobody. Well, I, I passed a bunch of, of um, like teenage boys and they mm. all had on like f- forces that matched their shit. And mm. I just felt like a, a dad <laughs> like a lame nah, but you like got, even, even that's if, the thing is like i feel like with the ultra boost <clears throat> you do know your sneakers you didn't buy a basic you bought show. the top of the line adidas they also have like technology or something and they're like comfortable and good for what you're doing with them yeah walking my dog yeah they're an excellent and i do i do with. like that they can just i can just slip them on yeah like, i love I love the design. The lace is of them. literally just about for tripping because I tripped on it. Yeah, in the lace today. is just there for because it came untied as a formality. But like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's a, to be like it's a shoe. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a shoe. Honestly, it just looks stupid without the lace, and that's the only reason it's there. It, and so, well, I like it because I can kind of um, wrench down my small foot a little mm-hmm. bit mm-hmm. over my big foot. Yeah, one. Um, see that one's like. That one's less like tied. fully tied, like fully, uh, like it could be. May as well be untied, yeah. but the other one is tied down a little bit. Yeah, just yeah. kind of like a nice little little extra to it. Yeah, it would look weird without it. Yeah, because I've seen people do that, and it looks fucking stupid without the laces. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're fun. Well, I guess we probably better close this one out. Yeah, you want to take app- us out? I, I think, suppose I, think I think could. You got it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, if you enjoy this podcast, hit the like button on YouTube. Subscribe anywhere you're listening: Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, the rest of them. Um, hit the notification bell. I think that does something. Um, <laughs> we got new episodes every single Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye.